Royal Enfield has challenged the conventions of the motorcycle industry for over a century. In 1901, the first Enfield motorcycle was created in Redditch, England. Made like a gun by engineers dedicated to precision and excellence in manufacturing. World War I saw civilian motorcycle production stop, but Royal Enfield still produced a number of bikes. By the 1920s, the range had expanded to include sports models, V-twin machines and even an open-frame ladies' bike. The 1920s also saw Enfield's greatest racing successes at the famed Brooklyn Circuit and the Isle of Man TT. In 1932, the first bullet was created, a testament to endurance, versatility and speed. It was a bike that typified Royal Enfield culture. World War II led to another change in the business, with a secret factory being built in southern England. The best-known Enfield product of the time was the Flying Flea, a 125 that was light enough to parachute into enemy territory. In 1953, Madras Motors was charged with buying some motorbikes for the Indian Army. There was only one choice. 750 bullets were bought as champions of the harsh environment. At this time, a prodigious talent sat atop a Royal Enfield in the form of Johnny Britton. Humble and tenacious, he was the human embodiment of Royal Enfield. His attitude and success across the gruelling six-day trial event further showed Royal Enfield's guts and that these bikes were built to last. The 1950s also gave birth to some great feats of engineering with the creation of the Crusader and Constellation. By 55, Madras Motors had a licence to manufacture the bullet. Enfield India Limited was established. The 60s saw the birth of the 750cc Interceptor as well as the landmark Continental GT Cafe Racer. The GT was a response to change in attitude towards motorcycling, a youth quake that helped create an exciting and attractive bike for the legions of young men now taking to the roads. Meanwhile, bullet production flourished in India. By 77, Indian-made bikes began to be sold in the UK to meet a demand from a newly formed classic motorcycle movement. The 80s saw Enfield's export markets flourish, with European distributors supplying the bike to a new generation of enthusiasts. The 90s were a decade of reappraisal. New bikes, new owners and new attitudes. An international tourist industry developed around the timeless bullet too. Tour organisers set themselves up to take groups into the Himalaya, across the Rajasthan desert and into the backwaters of Kerala. Riding a bullet in India became a must-do for many bike enthusiasts. In 2005, the Indian factory celebrated 50 years of production, with the legendary bullet remaining an icon of the Indian highways. The recent technology-driven economic boom in India has produced a new generation of Royal Enfield riders. Known as bulleteers, the relationship these riders have developed with their motorcycle and its heritage is more than a hobby. It's a way of life. November 24, 2011 marked the beginning of a new chapter in the history of this iconic brand, as the foundations for the company's second factory were laid in Aragadam, the industrial heartland on the outskirts of Chennai, completed in a record time of 11 months. In addition to increasing capacity, the Aragadam plant has been designed to optimise cost of production through relevant automation, yet it retains the human craftsmanship that is distinct to the iconic Royal Enfield brand. The plant features a groundbreaking new CED paint shop with a painting capacity of 600 motorcycles a day, a robotic painting and powder coating system to ensure consistency and less wastage, and capacity for producing one motorcycle a minute or over 800 a day across two shifts. But at the same time, processes such as the legendary pinstriping continue to be done through craftsmen who lend that special human touch to each motorcycle. The Royal Enfield Bullet is the longest running motorcycle model in continuous production, a testament to its design and character. However, it is the classic design of the 60s that Royal Enfield is now revisiting, responding to another change in attitudes towards life on two wheels. September 2013, the Continental GT became a part of the Royal Enfield product family. It heralds another evolutionary step for Royal Enfield. Looking to its past, they have created a beautiful machine for the future. One that's classic and modern, and will continue Royal Enfield's epic journey.